Today I'm going to show you how to properly punch, starting from the basics of how to make a fist. It's funny. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff. I've seen people hold their hands like this. I've seen people hold their hands like this, which will break, both will break your thumb. Because one, when you punch, your thumb's going to make contact first. If you hit like this, it's going to squeeze and your wrist is going to bend because your knuckles are no longer aligned. There are multiple points of the hand you can hit with. I personally do not like punching because the hand is a ball of joints, and if you hit your uh, joint against something with force, it usually breaks. I have broken my hand a lot, and I did the technique right. So, here's how I teach kids, and here's how I teach adults. Curl the top fingers in as tight as you can, and bring this across. Some people have long thumbs, and they reach to the ring finger. That's perfectly fine, but what you want is it to be here so it stabilizes the hand. You want your wrist to be straight. You don't want to do this, you don't want to do this, you don't want to do this or this. Straight. So, when you punch, there are multiple parts of the hand you can hit with. I personally prefer the Q-show punch, which is an extended to the 45 degree angle for pressure point hitting. But, if you do Taekwondo, or you do Karate, you usually punch with this knuckle, these two knuckles, or this knuckle. This knuckle is used for penetrating strikes. This is used for hard targets, like rib or cheekbone. When you strike, you want to use as little surface area as possible so you can needle it in like a bullet. If your kicks are a shotgun, this is your pistol. So, when you punch with this, these two, you have to use 90% of the energy here and 10% here. When you're punching to the ribs, you want to use all the energy and drive it in while twisting. Now, in Wing Chun, this is very interesting. They use the three bottom knuckles. I actually have a scar from when I once accidentally punched my computer like a fool as a teenager, and it lacerated my hand because these pug knuckles are not strong. Even the skin is weak on them because we just don't condition them usually. In Wing Chun, they line up the three bottom knuckles with the forearm, which strengthens it. That's why they punch like this. Now in Taekwondo and Karate, it's usually from here or here. Now, when you punch, the energy does not just come from you. I have to emphasize this. It's coming from the ground and it's being channeled out. Watch. If you'll notice, the first thing I did is this turn, I torque my hips, which forces the shoulder forward. I twist my arm as I extend it. The reason for this is it's lining the kinetic energy up your body and then focusing it out. You have to use the earth to help you punch, otherwise you'll have a weaker punch. Now personally, I prefer a palm strike. It's way safer, you can deliver just as much energy, especially as a crushing blow, and it has padding to protect the bone, which is more important. The muscle there is not weak. It's very strong because we use our hands in almost everything we do daily. Now, in Wing Chun, they kinetically link themselves with the earth. Let me show you. Now, a lot of people make this mistake about Wing Chun. They think they fight like this, but they don't. They'll fight in a natural position. But, this is a great way to line yourself up with the earth. When they punch, they bring in here and extend, striking like this. They're very short and fast, not very powerful, but if you use kinetic linking, which is, say you use a power of level 5 out of 10, each punch will reinforce the next until, so if you start with a, like a 3, it'll become 4 with the next, it'll become 5 with the next, and then it'll jump exponentially after that. Hence why in Ip Man, he was able to strike like that. He was able to punch that guy straight out. It's a very fast technique and one of my favorites. However, my absolute favorite punch is the Kyusho punch, which comes in like this and uses this knuckle. It's incredibly good for hitting nerves and sucking the energy out of people. Now, the punch that I personally do, the, the, there's something called the center line. It's a shared line between two people and it's in the center of your body. Wing Chun comes in and 
up. In Taekwondo and Karate, they come across the center line going down. However, there's a much more powerful punch you can do called a snapping punch. That's the only punch that can break the sound barrier. So, the punch that I prefer for my style, which I don't have a name for, is you come in across the center line and then straighten and strike. Watch. I'm coming in, over, out. And I'm using the four knuckle and about really 95% and about 5% here. This knuckle is pretty good because it reinforces the foremost. In Wing Chun, you really need to line your arm up, otherwise if your wrist bends, you're going to lose all of that kinetic linking and the dude's going to dominate you. Because if you've got a weak punch, it's not good. The best way to get a strong punch is by doing push-ups, preferably knuckle push-ups and finger push-ups. So, if you're going to punch, make sure you condition your hands. In Hapkido, there's a very extreme group. They don't have a name, they, they're part of the military, which teaches Taekwondo. They'll take a board, they'll put glue on it, uh, hot glue, and like dribble it. And then they punch it, and they put, after they've punched it and they start bleeding, they then put salt on it, and then they punch it again. This eventually hardens the hand and you will lose all of your nerves. I don't like doing that, I've only done it once and it sucked. But if you're gonna condition, and you're gonna punch something, use a heavy bag. You can punch concrete, but I really think people should work up to that and not start with it. Uh, I did, and I broke so many capillaries in the beginning it was absurd. I've never broken my hand unless I've hit something with the bulk of the joint of, it, of the knuckle, and that's not good, which means I was striking with the wrong part. You want to hit here, where it's essentially jutting out, you don't want to make contact here because it will separate your finger from your hand and boom, you've got a broken hand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Punching is not the most intelligent way to fight. If someone does it, it means they're probably trained. And as one of my favorite teachers once told me, if you hit them once and they're not out, you haven't trained hard enough, you haven't conditioned hard enough, and you don't know what you're doing. You need to knock them out in the first blow, otherwise you're going to keep risking your hands with each successive one. That's why a palm strike because it is so much safer for that ball of joints. Enjoy.